this is a question about uh, stress systems and Poisson's ratio. We've got a pipe here which uh, has an axial load of 600 kilonewtons, a compressive load applied to it, and we know its outside diameter is 150 millimeters, which is 0.15 meters. We know its inside diameter is 100 millimeters, which is 0.1 meters. Uh, we know the uh, Young's modulus is 210 gigapascals and Poisson's ratio is 0.3. The length of the pipe is 1.3 meters. And we're asked for the shortening of the pipe, the lateral strain, the increase in inner and outer diameters, and the increase in wall thickness. So we'll do all of that in turn. First of all, part A, the shortening of the pipe. Um, well, in the end, we're going to want to calculate um, a change in length, that's what a shortening is, and that's going to come from a strain. This is where it's useful just to be uh, pretty clued up on your stress and strain relationships and things like that. Um, so we're going to look at the um, stress in the pipe and then that's going to give us the strain in the pipe. To get to the stress, I note that stress is force over area, and then the area, the cross-sectional area of this pipe, well it's the area of a solid bar um, with the outer diameter minus the area of a solid bar with the inner diameter. So area is uh, pi times 0 0.075 squared. That's half the outer diameter. So remember pi r squared. That's why I'm converting from a diameter to a radius. Minus pi 0 0.05 squared. Um, and we put all of that into a calculator. And I'm getting 9.8 times 10 to the minus 3 square meters. Um, so stress is force over area is 600,000, 600 kilonewtons, divided by 9.8 times 10 to the minus 3. which comes out to be uh, 61.1 uh, I get 61115498 um, it's 61.1 times 10 to the 6 pascals from the stress we go through and we find a strain uh, strain well I guess it's just useful to remember the um, general formula I'm going to use here. Stress is Young's modulus times strain. So strain is stress divided by Young's modulus, which equals 61.1 uh, times 10 to the 6 divided by 210 times 10 to the 9, which equals uh, 2.91 times 10 to the minus 4 And at this stage, remember that strains are dimensionless, so I don't need to put down any units for that. Um, still, we didn't want the shortening of the pipe. Sorry, we didn't want the strain, we wanted the shortening, which is the actual change in length. Remembering that um, strain is defined as change in length divided by original length, the change in length is going to be epsilon multiplied by x, uh, which is going to be... Uh, 2.91 times 10 to the minus 4 multiplied by 1.3 and that comes out as 3.78 times 10 to the minus 4 meters uh, you could change that if you wanted to uh, 3.78 0 0.378 millimeters I suppose uh, but I'm just going to leave that as my answer Um, part B says, OK, what is the lateral strain? And the lateral strain, we need to remember that uh, lateral strain is Young's modulus, sorry, is Poisson's ratio times axial strain. That's what Poisson's ratio is. It defines the ratio of axial strain and lateral strain um, and so it equals 
0.3 times 2.91 times 10 to the minus 4, which equals... 8.73 times 10 to the minus 5. Again, dimensionless. And that's a final answer. Uh, so that is parts A and B done. Uh, next, it says, what is the increase in inner and outer diameter? Um, well, these come from... Uh, the uh, strain calculation uh, again we know now that epsilon lateral um, that's the strain just just to be clear uh, let's just go back to this original diagram when I say axial I mean things that are acting in the direction of the load so along what we might call the z-axis in this case and lateral I mean anything that's happening in the x and y direction so anything that's happening uh, perpendicular to the axial strain. Um, so we know the lateral strain, epsilon lateral, equals 8.73 times 10 to the minus 5. And then we also know that um, the um, delta x outside diameter, I suppose I'll call it. Sorry, I was just thinking about the best thing to go with for notation there. Um, but we know that delta x is the strain, which in this case is the lateral strain, because these diameters are in the uh, lateral direction. Um, and that's going to be multiplied by the original length, uh, which is 0.15. Uh, or actually, let's um, call it x outside diameter, the length of the outside diameter. So this is 8.73 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by uh, 0.15 which equals 1.31 times 10 to the minus 5. And this time that answer is in meters because this length here, the original diameter, was in meters. Um, so that's the change in the outside diameter. The change in the inside diameter is the strain multiplied by the original inside diameter, which is 8.73 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by 0 0.1, which equals... Oh, I can do that one in my head. That's 8.73 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. Um, and those are the answers to part C, which asked for the increase in the inner diameter and the outer diameter. Uh, that's the increase in the outer diameter, and that's the increase in the inner diameter. Um, so now part D says, OK, what's the increase in wall thickness? For that, I'm just going to look... Um, at the original picture from the top down. And what we know is this length here, the uh, new outer diameter, is uh, the old outer diameter, 0 0.15, plus uh, this change, which is 1.31 times 10 to the minus 5. The new inner diameter is uh, 0 0.1 plus 8.73 times 10 to the minus 6. And just if I note that this is T here, the, the wall thickness, then I can say the outer diameter equals the inner diameter plus 2 times the wall thickness. Essentially, the outer diameter is the sum of these three lengths here. Uh, so it's, that's where the 2 times the wall thickness comes from. Which means that uh, 2t equals outer diameter minus inner diameter. Um, and that means that t equals outer diameter minus inner diameter over 2.
And then the last thing that I have to do is once I know the thickness, I can also calculate that the uh, change in thickness delta t is going to be the change in outside diameter minus the change in inside diameter divided by 2. And if you're not entirely sure uh, that you're happy with where that's come from, you can always write out uh, the change in thickness is going to be the new out the new thickness minus the old thickness, which is uh, this value and this value used to calculate a thickness minus just 0 0.15 and 0 0.1 used to calculate a thickness, and you'll find it comes out like this. Um, but do check that. So this equals um, 1.31 times 10 to the minus 5 minus 8.73 times 10 to the minus 6 all over 2 which equals 2.19 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And that's a final answer. Um, so that's the complete uh, set of solutions to that original problem um, where we're compressing a pipe in the axial direction and we're interested in how much the walls expand. And this is really the kind of understanding you need um, to solve problems involving Poisson's ratio where the main um, sort of conceptual idea with Poisson's ratio is that as we compress this pipe in the axial direction it's going to expand outwards in the uh, um, lateral direction in the x and y directions um, and most people have an intuitive sense of that already but using these kind of calculations we're able to put some numbers to it.